Hello. Hello, and thanks for coming to the Institute of Future Technology. On behalf of Dr. Emmett Brown... Hello, and thanks for coming to the Institute of Future Technology. On behalf of Dr. Emmett Brown, Institute Founder and Chief Inventive Officer, we hope that you have a very pleasant visit. Locating a Tukervitic Laboratory. Please stand by. Antigravitic Laboratory located. Level 2, Sector 2. Status report commencing. Commencing search for antigravitic research scientist. Supervising scientist Dr. Stephen Marble. Study your tracking system reports space-time coordinates 6, 12, 93, 3. Confirmed. Experiment status. Hover bike testing in progress. Specialized pandemonium maintaining operational stability at 38 miles per hour. The DeLorean Time Machine, a one-of-a-kind scientific wonder capable of traversing the very fabric of time itself. The DeLorean Time Machine was unveiled to the world by inventor Dr. Emmett Brown in 1985, after years of exhaustive research. Brown's insatiable thirst for scientific knowledge led to the creation of what is considered to be his greatest achievement. The flux capacitor. This is what makes time travel possible. First, you turn the time circuits on. This readout tells you where you're going, this one tells you where you are, this one tells you where you were. You input your destination time on this keypad. Say you want to see the sign of the Declaration of Independence. Or witness the birth of Christ. The possibilities are as endless as time itself. When accelerated to 88 miles per hour, the DeLorean time machine is proof positive that time travel is indeed a reality. As with all groundbreaking ideas, improvements are inevitable. In time, the ever-ingenious Doc Brown returned to his laboratory for a complete reworking of the DeLorean concept. Ground transportation as a mode of travel was fine for blasting back to the past. But for traveling forward to the future, Doc Brown took the DeLorean concept to new heights.
Modified and futurized with a simple hover conversion from the year 2015, the DeLorean was able to defy gravity as well as the time barrier. But when traveling through time, you're going to encounter some different terrain. Whether you're crossing the high plains or riding the rails in the Old West. The original Doc Brown DeLorean time machine is just the vehicle for the job. And you can see it now at the Institute of Future Technology. Your attention, please. The following is a sub-ether transmission from the year 2015. Aha! It works! Greetings, volunteers! Doc Brown here! I am currently traveling down the Hill Valley Skyway in the year 2015. Soon I'll return to the Institute and send you one whole day through time. But first, there seems to be a small problem. Listen up, volunteers. This concerns you. The current whereabouts, or should I say whereabouts, of Biff Tannen are unknown. It seems he's missing from the year 1955. Now, I don't know how or why this could be, but if Biff is allowed to roam freely through time, it could skew history as we know it. That's where you're hovering. I'll be back soon, time travel volunteers. And remember, stay alert. Hello, and welcome to the Institute of Future Technology, where we're building on the past to make the future today. Doc, on the march. Time stands still for no man, or so the old saying goes. But there is one man who has time on his side. For noted scientist Dr. Emmett Brown, time travel has become not only a reality, but an adventuresome pastime. Thomas Edison, master of electricity. The inventor of the light bulb meets... Mr. Edison. The inventor of the flux capacitor. What a moment. On to Kitty Hawk, North Carolina where Doc Brown is on hand for the Wright Brothers' famous first flight. It works! Look at that, it works! Yeah! It flies! Bet that thing would go a lot farther with a hover conversion, eh, Doc? There's Doc rubbing elbows with physicist Albert Einstein. Talk about a meeting of great minds and great hairdos. It's no mistake that Doc Brown named his favorite pup after the inventor of the theory of relativity. Where's Doc now? Looks like he dropped in on a speech by former president Richard Nixon. And boy, the Doc looks awfully tempted to alter time. Oh well, Doc, hindsight's always 2020. Next stop, 1964. And there's excitement in the air as the Beatles make their first U.S. appearance. First up is a press conference to welcome the lovable Mop Tops to the good old U.S. of A. And there they are, Paul, Ringo, George, John, and Doc Brown. Let it be. The ultimate day tripper. Doc, on the march. I did it! Dr. Emmett Brown here. Please pardon the crudity of my broadcast signal, but I'm coming to you from the year 2015. I've managed to rewire this hover cam so that I can beam transmissions to you people back in the present. Unfortunately, what I'm about to tell you is of potentially cataclysmic proportions. Brace yourselves, time travel volunteers. This is he 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 heavy! It seems that Biff is loose somewhere in time. But just where or rather when he is, I'm not quite sure. But keep your eyes open. The one thing I do know is that Biff will most certainly use time travel for his own personal gain. As, as, as he did when he got a hold of this. It was right here that Biff found a sports almanac and devised his devilish plan. By stealing the DeLorean and traveling back to 1955 with the almanac, 
Biff was able to give himself forbidden knowledge about the outcomes of every major sporting event for the next 50 years. All you gotta do is bet on the winner and you'll never lose. And the result was catastrophic. Biff had succeeded in creating a nightmare come true. Luckily, we were able to regain the almanac and restore the space-time continuum. But believe me, that isn't my idea of fun. I cannot stress enough that bringing back even the smallest items from the future can create the most incredible complication. Once again, time travel volunteers, information about the future must not be abused, as this Zemeckis Gale diagram clearly shows. And for that reason, Biff must be stopped. I'll be returning to you at the Institute shortly, so remain calm. We will proceed with my plan as scheduled. You will be sent one whole day into the future. It may not seem like much, but any more than a day might be a shock to your system. Crossing the time barrier is not for the weak at heart. One more thing. When I send you a day into the future, if you should happen to see yourself still standing in line, don't say hi to yourself. Trust me on that one. Greetings, and thank you for coming to the Institute of Future Technology. If you are one of our time travel volunteers, we extend a special welcome and hope that you enjoy your journey through time. The Institute of Future Technology presents Doc Brown, The Inventive Years. Thomas Edison once said, invention is 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. And no one has proven this theory better than Dr. Emmett Brown. Though Doc is best known for his advances in time travel, the years before his development of the DeLorean time machine were perhaps his most fruitful. Doc churned out many inventions with a wide range of practical applications. Some that worked, and some that didn't. One of Doc's earliest creations was this automated flapjack maker. Capable of producing over 300 pancakes an hour, this mechanical marvel might have caught on if Doc's experimental sawdust pancake batter had been more popular. Looks like it's supper time for Fido. Nope, Mom's just loading up the canine cafeteria. Doc knows that the busy housewife or scientist isn't always around when it's feeding time. Wake up, boy. Fido doesn't seem to mind Doc's experimental sawdust dog food. We all know that a trip to the barber can be a hair-raising experience. And that's especially true with Doc Brown's Staticomatic Electric Hair Chair. 200,000 volts of static electricity cause the hair to stand up, making it much easier to cut. Can this process damage your hair? Absolutely not, insists Doc Brown. I've been using it for years, and look at my hair. Use Doc's Dynomatic Spray Gun to bronze your children's shoes. Or bronze your wife's hat. How stylish. Or bronze your cousin's face. Whoops, don't try this at home. The Dynomatic Spray Gun, the perfect holiday gift idea. These are just a few of the phenomenal technological advances pioneered by Dr. Emmett Brown, scientist, inventor, and founder of the Institute of Future Technology. Your attention, please. We now bring you a special message from inside the Institute of Future Technology. Now, before I send you on your journey through time, I have a few things to show you. Here, at the Institute for Future Technology, we made some of the most amazing technological advances the world has ever seen, such as the self-propelled, energy-saving, suck vacuum cleaner, powered by the very dust it picks up. Oh, still needs work. Now look at this. <clears throat> Ordinary manure, right? But wait. Thanks to my agro-waste fuel conversion system, what was once manure is now a clean-burning fuel pellet. One pellet can heat a house for an entire winter. There's only one problem. This had it, however, 
will virtually revolutionize interhuman communications by harnessing the electromagnetic impulses as created by the synapse responses from both the cerebrum and the cerebellum, mind waves are transmitted at an orb-only rate into the interpretation circuitry here, thus translating these word impulses into written form. In other words, it reads your mind. After years of tinkering and fine-tuning, it's finally perfected. The deep-thinking, mind-reading helmet. The ultimate thinking cap. A penny for my thoughts. Which brings me to my crowning achievement. The new experimental eight-passenger DeLorean time travel vehicle. It's this baby that will send you across the space-time continuum one day into the future. We are currently experiencing a systems failure in our security network. Time travel volunteers, please stand by. Dr. Brown will be with you in just a moment, and we will begin preparation for our journey one day into the future. The uh, new eight-passenger DeLorean is currently running its pre-time travel systems checks, so please stand by. Report in immediately. Quadrant one, check in. Quadrant one, locked and secured, Doc. Level two, check in. Level two, locked and secured, Doc. Section three, check in. Section three, locked and secured, Doc. Zone four, check in. Zone four, do you copy? <laughs> I'm a butthead. Jump it, gigawatts. It's Biff. I'm sorry, folks, but we're currently experiencing an unprecedented debilitation of our security systems. In other words, we got problems. There's only one troublemaker who can throw a monkey wrench in the works like this. Biff Tannen, juvenile delinquent, graduated Hill Valley High School, class of 1955. 1955? There's something very strange going on around here. At any rate, stay alert. Tannen gets his hands on some of the equipment around here at the Institute, it could mean the end of the very universe as we know it. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your visit. We are currently experiencing minor security difficulties. We apologize for the inconvenience. Whew. I had a check there for a second. Now, if my assumption is correct, Biff must have entered the complex diabolically disguised as one of you. Now, it's not your fault, but I'd check your neighbor or loved one if I were you. And remember, Biff can be quite persuasive, but don't listen to him. At the present time, you're scouring every inch of the Institute with a fine tooth comb. So it's only a matter of time before we catch that juvenile delinquent. So don't worry. I need watch the monitors. Chow time. Chow time. Chow time. Chow time. Chow time. Chow Hello? Time. Hello? Anybody home? Huh? What are you looking at, butthead? Wait a second. This sucker's Doc Brown conned into his time travel experiment. You know, some of Doc Brown's guinea pigs never make it back. <laughs> I'm not saying you shouldn't volunteer. I just hope the Doc's making it worth your while. <laughs> If it was me, I'd throw some cash your way. But hey, I'm a generous guy. <laughs> Come to think of it, maybe I can make it worth your while. That is, if you help me find Doc Brown's time machine. You know, the flying DeLorean. What's the matter, you chicken? Hey, you! See any suspicious-looking characters around here? Uh, no, sir. It's been quiet as a rat. Just repairing the security camera in case anyone does show up. Well, okay. You just keep your eyes peeled. I hear this guy's a real nutcase. Nutcase? Oh, Why? What about you people? Any sign of trouble? No? Well, people, look out. This guy's a real jerk. <laughs> they call this security. 
Give me a break. There's no way Doc Brown's gonna stop me now. Excuse me. I gotta finish my repair work. <laughs> Even though we have a little security problem on our hands, we must prepare you for temporal displacement. That's time travel to you. Now, it's crucial that I spend a little time going over the basics of time travel. Perhaps this demonstration will suffice. Figuring out the space-time continuum is tricky business, believe me, I know. And that's why I developed this, my ultimate scientific achievement, a new eight-passenger DeLorean time vehicle. It's faster, more energy efficient, and it's a convertible. I figured if you know what the weather's gonna be like in the future, why not just time travel to the sunny days? Whether it's an intergenerational carpool or a quadruple date through time, this baby's got it. But it's only for those who take time travel very seriously. And that means you. But remember, this is all top secret. With Tannen on the loose, we can't afford to take any chances. Great Scott. See what I mean? Have a nice trip. See you next winter! <laughs> it's fall, you idiot! See you next fall! I assure you, this is hardly business as usual here at the Institute. A mere fluke! Our security system is virtually impenetrable. It'll take a lot more than a hoverboarding hood to pull the plug on this operation. Now, please stand by for an important message from the Institute's Chief Inventive Officer, Dr. Emmett Brown. Now that you're here, time travel volunteers, I can give you your pre-flight briefing. There's a lot you'll need to know if you're to successfully cross the space-time continuum. We'll have to hurry, though. With Biff still on the loose, anything could happen. Did you get in here? Why don't you ask these bozos? Doc, one of our time travel teams was conducting an experiment back in 1955. He must have stowed away! Hey, I'm not one to pass up a free ride! Tanner! You sent me here the present! We've got to get you back to 1955, or we could create a major paradox! Oh, don't worry, Doc. I'll go back. And in style. But first... I'm gonna take a little joy ride. No! Biff! Love to stay in chat, Doc. I just ain't got the time. <laughs> what am I saying? I got all the time I want! <laughs> Unlock these gates, Helen! I'll still a bye-bye! This is terrible. He's gonna hold the time. History as we know it will be completely obliterated. If he's not stopped, we can... Wait a second. Ah, why didn't I think of this before? My newest invention, the eight-passenger DeLorean time vehicle. That's it. I'll just hop in it. Great Scott, what am I thinking? I'm trapped like a rat in my own office. There's no way I can get to the time machine. Hold on a minute. I can get to it. What? My time travel volunteers, you and you and you, you're my only hope. The eight passenger DeLorean is just beyond that door where you're standing. I can pilot my remote control from here, but I'm gonna need you to help me navigate. You've got to catch Biff. The fate of the entire universe rests in your hands. Now try and relax while we go over a few vital safety instructions. Here are a few safety tips you should know before taking off. Watch your head as you step into the time travel vehicle. Once in, slide to the furthest seat. 
Adults, watch your head as the ceiling slopes down in the back. Remain seated. The safety restraint will be activated by one of Doc Brown's assistants. Keep your arms and legs away from the door. Take extra care that cameras and other personal belongings do not interfere with the safety restraint. No photography is permitted during the ride. And please, no smoking, eating, or drinking while inside the time vehicle. We ask that you follow these simple safety tips during your journey across the space-time continuum. Enjoy your flight. I almost forgot. In order to successfully bring Biff back to our time period, it is necessary to accelerate up to 88 miles per hour and bump him. That's right, bump him. The impact of two traveling time vehicles will create a time vortex, sucking both vehicles and time travelers back to their original point of departure. There's no telling where or when Biff may be leading us, so be prepared for anything. Good luck, time travelers. Get in! Watch your step! Hurry up! Get in, let's go! We've got to move! Watch your step! Get in now! Hurry up! Get ready! Don't worry about a thing, you're in good hands! Oops! I still haven't worked all the bugs out of this thing, but no matter, we're on a mission of universal proportions. Doc! Biff has passed through the space-time continuum, but we've got no way of knowing where he is. You mean, when he is. And we do have a way of knowing when he is. The eight-passenger time vehicle is equipped with a sub-ether time tracking scanner, which will allow us to track Biff to his precise location at the precise moment in whatever time period he may have traveled to. Doc, all pre-launch system checks are complete. That's our cue. Hang on to your hats. Don't forget. When you see Biff in the little orient, accelerate to 88 miles per hour and bump him. Accelerating now to 55 miles per hour. 65, 75, 85, 80 miles per hour! New Valley in the year 2015. And then Biff, let's get him. Oh, oh, the world. Big high towers now, dog tents. Oh, yeah, that's what you think. Gotta get some gas, Doc! Ha Hello? 
Anybody home? Great, Scott, huh? a dinosaur! Hello? It's a Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex! Right this way. Now sack him! Calm down, big fella. Calm down. Easy, boy. Easy, boy. Hey, hey, I'm hit. Hey, I'm hit. I know this. What in place? Watch those jaws. We've been swallowed. Travelers, and remember the future is what you make it. <laughs>